This was sent in to corny drive through at gmail.com from Patrick Grapes. And I don't know if you saw the video, so if you haven't, uh, please excuse the question. I was wondering if you saw earlier, a couple weeks ago, WWE wrestler Lacey Evans getting into it with a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer in Edmonton. Yes, I did see this. Lacey, she's a heel, goes off on this, quote, Dudley Do-Right looking motherfucker (laughs) about how Canada is nasty and the cop is nasty, etc., etc. I thought it was funny as hell. That is until about a day later when she took the Twitter to explain it was all work. Question, what's the point of staying in character if you're going to just blab all over social media that you're working? And do you think the boys would have been able to keep kayfabe if social media had been around in the territory days? And I think, I think in her case, I could be wrong. I didn't follow it closely. I think there was a little bit of a, people started, there was a little bit of a backlash that, this happened. That, well, know, yes, they, they yeah. that's the, the, they apparently from what I can tell, they bought it. People bought it that she was, that it was a shoot and she had to apologize for it, which is the whole idea of doing it is to buy it as a shoot. She says, well, this fucking idiot fucking cop, you know, he pulls me over for that. Of course I had to get there quickly. You know, I don't know why they did it and then apologized for it because uh, it, she's a heel. Right? You don't want to act like her. Parents can use that as a teaching moment. See, she's a heel. She's a she's a bitch. You shouldn't act like her. Be like the baby faces. Why Bailey would have hugged that policeman and thanked her, thanked him for caring about her safety. That's what Bailey would have done. What? But it's just fucking. I don't have any idea. Um. Yes. If there was social media around, the guys could have fucking kept kayfabe back then because the guys did, even though there was radio, television, newspapers, rats. It's hard to lie to somebody when when your dick is in their mouth, but they managed to. So I don't think that suddenly just because they can get on their goddamn phone and in their pocket and fucking say shit instantly that they would say have said any shit differently than they did in public already it's just that we unfortunately raised a couple of generations that weren't taught what the business really was and what it was supposed to be and any respect for it and so they blew and and the promoters as well and they blew the whole fucking thing and now you know the cause is lost but no the guys wouldn't have I don't see why they would have done anything differently just because there was a different way of communicating when there were already ways to communicate and they weren't do including in person and they weren't fucking smartening people up just right and left. 